Well, the Biden administration continues its recent and novel trend of doing stuff by announcing a federal student loan forgiveness program. Not everybody's happy, though. A lot of bitching from the right. A lot of talk out there like, oh, okay, so now taxpayers got to bail out these lazy, entitled millennials who regret the decisions they made while pursuing their degree in cat studies. Is that it? Well, if you'll allow a personal retort, I'm a millennial. I worked 30 hours a week through college, made straight A's, and got an MBA. I followed every one of your rules to the letter, and I still graduated with a mountain of student loan debt. Why? A, because the system is rigged and predatory, and B, because I was also a money-dumb trailer baby, bereft of financial literacy, who once signed up for three credit cards in exchange for three medium one-topping pizzas. This just in, college kids sometimes make poor decisions. So every time anything remotely good gets done by the Biden administration, ironically, you know, networks like CNN and MSNBC are like, oh, no, 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 no. They bring on those douchebag corporate economists, special interest economists who are like, anything done for the peasants is terrible for the economy. But if we rob them blind and we, f and, you know, that's basically what we're supposed to, you know, take just, you know, getting bent over and. Well, let me not get too deep into this, but you know, you know how the game goes. A lot of talk out there today, like, you know, I worked my ass off for years to pay off my student loans. Now they just get off scot-free. How is that fair? Well, as someone who also paid off their student loans, I love this program because I, A, understand how much it sucks to have student loans, and B, am not a selfish asshole. I really don't understand this mentality. You know, my dad died of pancreatic cancer. If they announced a miracle cure tomorrow, I'm not going to take to Twitter like, oh, okay, so all these entitled cancer havers out here today just get to go on being alive, huh? But basically, that's always what happens. Biden does something remotely good, and voila, everybody comes out of nowhere and, and says that it's terrible, and we can't do this. But you know, when Biden does things that suck, oh, well, you know, bipartisanship right there, that's some good old classic bipartisanship. <laughs> It's just crazy how it always works throughout the media cycle. But l l let me get into some more serious talk now because I didn't even mean to go on that rant. But, you know, that's what I do sometimes. But by far and away, one of the worst arguments that these corporate special interests economists make in the mainstream media is that forgiving any amount of student loan debt will inevitably make inflation worse. But the, you know, the fact is, is that Donald Trump is the one who put the moratoriums for student loan payments in action. People haven't been paying their student loans for quite some time now, and that's never added to inflation. Really, the problem is we know it's a supply chain crisis because during COVID, everything got thrown out of whack because people don't really make things domestically, especially in this country. So inflation is a problem the world over, and they always conveniently leave that out. But it's just a really bad argument. You know, Biden, just, he didn't even forgive all the student loans. He forgave, you know, 10000 for, you know, many, 20000 for some, changed the percentage that people have to pay every month on their student loans, and they're coming out and they're like, oh, oh no, 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 we are we're already dealing with inflation, but now we're going to deal with it even more. Even though every time we give breaks to people who don't need them, oh, but that's somehow going to be good for all of us. Yeah, okay. But hey, man, look, you know, all power to the Biden administration for doing something. You know, at the end of the day, he said that he would eliminate $10,000 and he did it, you know, so we really can't, you know, be too upset with him about not doing more. Obviously, we want to push for more, but that's really outside the Biden administration. We got to continue to get better Democrats in office. But again, you know, he, he, he did his thing with the student loan debt. He got the CHIPS Act passed. He passed a very, very, very shaved version of Build Back Better. But you know, it's, it's something, you know, versus the Republican Party that actively goes in the wrong direction at a million miles an hour. So the point is, let's continue to push the ball forward even more, get better Democrats in office so that we can get even more student loan debt eliminated, so that we can more importantly change the structure of our economy and our education system so that we actually can prepare students to be effective in the modern and future job market.